In this work energy power lesson, we are going to explore the idea of work done. These are the learner's outcome. What is work done? It's a common misconception to think that exerting force or effort means that there must be some work done. But it is because actually work done, there are two parts. One is force and one is distance move in the direction of force. So the base unit is a Newton per meter. But however, we do not use Newton meter as it is the unit for torque or turning effect. The unit for uh, work done is actually joules. So how do we calculate work done? Very simple uh, situation for the first one. You have this 5 Newton, you push this object by uh, for 2 meters. You find that the work done by this 5 Newton is simply just force times distance move in the direction of force. It's just 5 times 2 and 10 joules. Okay, simple enough. The above scenario is of course uh, the object being pushed, pushed by 5 newtons for a distance of 2 meter. But what we are also interested is this work done, what does it do? Okay, uh, after the push. So can you think what will happen after to the object after the 5 newton is actually removed? Will it go faster and faster? Will it go slower and eventually stop? Or maintain at the same speed? Okay, think about it. The answer is actually the object will remain at the same speed at the moment when the force is removed. So it is this one. Okay, why isn't it uh, go slower and stop eventually? It's because I tend to think that it will stop, slow down and stop as they unconsciously add in some frictional force. But in this case, actually, there is no mention of any frictional force. So it's still purely 5 Newton multiplied by 2. Okay, and what will happen is that after the force is removed, since there's no frictional force, by Newton's first law, it will still maintain at the same speed. So we have this simulation to see what, what is actually happening. Okay, so if you see this simulation, this is the object that we are talking about. We have some applied force. You apply for a certain distance up to this distance, and then after that, the person will let go and see what will happen to this object. Remember, there's no friction. Okay, there's no friction. The friction is off. So let's see what will happen. Of course, you realize that the thing actually uh, continue to move. Okay, so let's see the uh, velocity time graph. So let's rewind. So you see this what's happening, and then when it stop pushing, you find that the velocity remains constant. Okay, so this is what's happening. Okay, next, right now we have a force that's in the opposite direction, and somehow it still moves by this uh, in two meters. So let's calculate what is the work done in this case. You find that the work done by this 5 newton is for still force times distance move in the direction of force. But in this case, you find that the distance direction and the force direction is actually completely opposite of one another. So let's just put as negative 5. Let's just treat as going post, right is positive direction. So this 5 newton is actually considered to be negative 5. So the work done is actually negative 10 joules. But let's come to the situation. How is it possible that um, despite of the opposite force, the direction move is still to the, towards the right? Okay. Let's use the simulation to illustrate this particular situation. Let's come back to this simulation. So this person is pushing and then it lets go. And right now the object is really traveling at a certain speed. So what will happen is that what happens is that if the person push back, you find that there's this situation where the, the object is still moving forward, but the person is pushing uh, towards the left. So this was the situation that we are talking about. Okay, if we repeat this. So this was the first situation, and then the object is traveling, and at this moment in time, okay, the, uh, the person is actually pushing the uh, backwards. But even though he's pushing towards the left, but the object is still moving forward. Okay. Okay. So as you can see, if the object is already moving, the force applied can be opposite of the direction of the distance move. Okay. Just as the previous case. 
Uh, one common example of this situation is the friction. Instead, it's the person, maybe there's some friction that's actually opposing the motion. Okay, and you know that friction is always exerted in the opposite direction of the movement. So the previous situation of uh, object uh, moving this way, but yet there's a force going the opposite way uh, is possible. Okay, friction is one of the best example. So in this case, you can say that uh, friction has always a negative work done, done to the moving objects. Okay, so right now, uh, the third situation. So I have an object that is pushing uh, uh, towards the left and the distance in this case moves towards the left. So what will happen is that if you want to calculate the work done, it's still the same formula. But in this case, if we treat going right as positive direction, so both of them would be in the negative direction. So negative 5 times negative 2, you find that it is uh, 10 joules. Let's look at this person. The person is actually carrying an object that is weigh 100 newton, so he has to exert a force upwards 100 newton up. Okay, and let's see the person moves again two meters towards the right. Okay, in this case, you find that the work done by this person of this 100 newton going up is actually zero. Okay, it is because the object is actually not moving in the direction of this 100 newton. The object is actually move, uh, the 100 newton force is actually upwards, but the movement is rightwards. So, using the same same formula, in this case, the force yes is 100 newton, but the distance move in the direction of the force, which is level, which is zero. Okay, so in this case, there is no work done for this person. Okay, so right now, what if if it's diagonal? So let's see uh, if you have this eight. Newton and this 10 Newton and somehow the object moves in this manner of a 5 meters which you okay which we can break down into 3 meters here and 4 meters 3 meters towards the uh, right and 4 meters okay uh, so called upwards okay but this is the top view so the work done by the 10 Newton is not 10 times 5 but rather it is 10 in the direction of the force which is the since, since 10 is going this way so the direction, the, the distance move is 4 meters, so it is 40 joules. Similarly, the work done by 8 newton, it is towards uh, the left, uh, the right. So in this case, the distance move towards the right is actually 3 meters. So you can calculate the work done by the 8 newton is 8 times 3, 24 joules. And the total work done on the object, you can simply just add them up, which is 40 plus 24, so it's 64 joules. Right now, I'll make a differentiation between work done by and work done on. So it is important to differentiate these two ideas. And work done on, of course, is not necessarily equals to the work done by a force. Okay, how is that so? So right now, I have these two forces, 5 Newton and 1 Newton. Okay, that's opposing. And the object, let's say, moves towards this way. So the object. Uh, the work done by 5 newton is actually 5 times 2 is 10 joules. The work done by 1 newton is actually negative 1 times 2, negative 2 joules. Okay, but the work done on the object is actually 10 plus negative 2, which is 8 joules. So you can say that work done on the object is actually the total work done by the forces. Alternatively, uh, you can combine the 5 newton and the 1 newton to become a 4 newton this way. Um, work done on the object is actually equals to the uh, net force on the object uh, multiplied by the distance move. The calculation can be done is 4 times 2 equals to 8. It is also possible that even if you exert a force, there's no work done. It is when the force is exerted, it's countered by another equal and opposite force. So we have this 5 newton and 5 newton, and somehow the object still moves. Okay, again, it is possible it's because uh, by Newton's first law, if the object is already moving, you have uh, zero net force, you'll find that the object will still move at the same velocity. If you apply the same idea, 5 times 2, 10 joules, the work done by D. This 5 newton is negative 5 times 2, 10, negative 10. So the total work done is actually zero. Okay, if you subtract each other. Okay, so that's all for this lesson. Please subscribe and support my channel.
For my other physics video lesson arranged according to topics, please visit my blog at boringphysicsteacherswordpress.com. You can subscribe to my channel to be informed when I upload new physics video lessons. Thank you.